Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi there. My name is Tamara Port from Willeming Arts and I am back today with another episode of Finish a Journal. It's actually my third episode. I'm excited about it. Now, of course, at the moment of filming this uh, new episode, uh, I find myself and the world finds itself in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. So I would like to make my episode today dedicated to helping people work through anxiety with their art process. And I will demonstrate today in how, in my journal, how I sometimes utilize my journaling and artwork to work through uncomfortable feelings and anxiety and stressful experiences in, within ourselves. So I know we're all going through a really rough time right now. Some have it harder than others. Um, I send you huge love and light and I hope that you know that we're in this together. You are not alone out there. We're all experiencing the weirdness of this thing. To me, it constantly feels like we're in some weird dystopian Holly Hollywood film and I'm waiting for the superhero to come in. Um, Try and find people online to support you or hang out with if you can. If you can find an empathy buddy or a support buddy, it's a really good idea. Make sure that you eat well, that you take your medication, that you sleep well. Sleep supports the immune system. Um, and try to stay as grounded as possible. In my previous video, I talked about I can personally spin out of my mind and become very anxious and worried about the future. And what uh, helps me a lot is to redirect my attention and focus to what I can control. So uh, whenever I, I worry about my children's future or my, my what's going to happen in the world, I kind of just just try and catch myself and mindfully come back to, well, what can I do right here, right now to really support me and my family or and or the wider, wider world if I can? So um, it, it tends to make me feel like, right, I, I can contribute and, and make a difference. And this is the bit that I can control. So I'm going to give that my, my all my love and attention. And it really helps me come back to the now and stay grounded in the moment. I also want to let you know that I have compiled a blog post with a, a list of free resources that I've been uh, cre creating uh, over the last two weeks. So um, below in the description, please check that out. You can click on the link and um, have a, there's basically a list of like free art lessons and some. Uh, I did a couple of lives on um, <clears throat> I did a couple of lives on Facebook. So all kinds of things that can help. Hopefully a meditation as well as a meditation included. And um, I hope that these will help support you through any anxiety or stresses that you may be experiencing. I also still have my free lesson open and there's a link below. Plus, that's the other thing I have, um, very on, I've never done this before, but I have opened up, uh, a discount code for all my online classes, uh, 50% off discount code, including Lifebook. It's the first time ever that Lifebook has been on offer for 50% off. Uh, I hope, again, I hope that it supports some people on Lifebook. We do a lot of work on working through our anxiety using and, and stress and feelings and working with our feelings, uh, while using the creative process. So if this speaks to you, please do come check it out and you can now join Lifebook for 50% off. And, and there's another, I don't know, 50 classes all available at 50% off should you be interested. So do check that out. All the information is below in the, uh, in the description below. So. Let's get started on some art making. I have, um, so for those of you who are new to the, uh, fill your journal episodes, I uh, am someone who has lots of journals like this, um, that have sadly been discontinued. Don't go looking for this journal. It's the best journal ever, but they have decided not to make them anymore, which is very sad. I hope to make my own like it in the future. Uh, if I can get my act together and figure out how this works and if the world can get its act together or basically heal and transform back into a beautiful place. <laughs> so anyway, um, anyway, my, but the thing with my journals is most of them are not fully filled. I have several pages that might be, oh, might, might have, oh, have, I have filled up and I've done double sp spreads, but I also have journal pages that are unfinished. So here's quite a lot, actually not are quite, these are all finished, but then suddenly, oh, oh, you saw it. I've got, okay, I yesterday actually did a bit here, but 
I have pages like this where there's just a face sketch and there's nothing going on. These kinds of pages. So I set myself a challenge this year to finish off my journals. And that's why I'm making this. This is a series on YouTube called Finish a Journal. And this is episode three. three. <laughs> so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this session. I will um, make this session a little bit focused on how to work through anxiety or how I do that uh, and how you can use your creative process to do so. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you, oh yeah, if you do any artwork uh, in response to my sessions, I would love to see it. And the best way to share your artwork is in my Facebook group called Willowing and Friends. It's on uh, Facebook and there'll be an, a link below as well. So I um, hope you enjoy it. I send you all so much love. Try to stay grounded. Keep Do breathing exercises, by the way. Actually, I wanted to throw this in there quickly. Um, if you notice anxiety and you want to come out of a sort of a panicky place, a really good breathing exercise is the following one. It is, um, you breathe in, it's uh, four counts in, then you hold your breath for seven counts and you slowly breathe out on eight counts. So it goes like this. <clears throat> And the moment you do it, you'll instantly feel calmer because you o often don't even realize that you're holding sort of, I, do, I have this, I'm, I'm often a bit tense. So it goes like this. And apparently what this does to your body, it's not just a psychological thing when you calm down. Apparently you're, it's a sympathetic nervous system, I think, which is the, the nervous system that, uh, gets triggered or stirred when you're stressed. It cannot help but calm down when you breathe like this. That's a really helpful way of breathing. And then your body can't help but, but come out of fight or out of fight or flight as I understand it. So one more time. And it instantly makes me feel calmer. Okay, let's make some art. Okay, hey everyone. So welcome to another session of Fill a Journal. And what I like doing each time <laughs> is to go through the two journals to see what I have done uh, that hasn't been filmed. And uh, I have done very little. Of course, the coronavirus situation has meant that a lot of my time is being asked or pulled into different directions. Uh, my children, my business, it's impacted everything. However, I have done small amounts, <laughs> tiny. I did one page in my journal the other day that um, I liked a lot. And I think I swatched a little bit and that was about it. So I thought I'd do a quick, a quick flip through of both the journals so you can see where they are at. So um, some of you have already seen flip throughs of these, but I'll just go through it quickly and then tell you what my thinking is for today's session. So I still like uh, finishing. I want to finish this little waiter girl at some point. I like how she looks. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to comment on every page, otherwise this this is some page I don't uh, don't like, and I, but I can work on this. Like she's alright, but I don't really like her so much. Anyway, don't comment every time, Tam. It's going to take forever, otherwise. So I haven't done anything new here. This is still from. This is the same. This has not been touched. You know, this can be finished. These are sketches. I've not touched. I've not touched this. None of this has been touched. Ah, oh, this is a. A portrait I sketched a while back uh, that I meant to work on but didn't and I think I'm gonna work on this today but I'll see how I go so let's keep because I quite like the facial proportions there's another sketch that I haven't worked on since last time uh, this is good I keep thinking I might like to do another little bear here I love to like to do that that was one I did last time wasn't it uh, and I, you know what? And I don't actually like it that much, this one. It's okay. And why I'm commenting on liking it, someone said left a comment saying, Oh, I don't like that you don't like your work. 
I don't judge it in a negative way, uh, everyone. It's really just for me. My It's my own personal... You know how you connect to your artwork? Um, I don't know if you relate. So it's not me saying this is bad art. It's saying, if, if I comment on that, it's saying, I'm saying I don't connect with it. When I say that I don't connect with it, uh, don't like this, it's kind of like there's some... There's technically a couple of things that I don't like, but also I just don't connect with it as strongly as I might, let's say, with this. Even though it's very similar, but I really like her fa these two faces. So there's something about when I when I say that I don't like it. I don't sit here saying it's terrible work. I don't mean that. I often mean I don't connect with it. And I would love a journal where every single page lights me up. <laughs> or pretty much, you know? So that's, um, yeah, that's what's there. But I think I'll keep this page. It's like, you know... Um, and it has nice messages. But anyway, so um, someone left a comment, so I thought I'd address that for a little bit. Okay, uh, nothing new, nothing new. I didn't do anything new. This has been there for a while. No newness. It's nice. I love this this love this love painting a lot. So for instance, that's what I mean. Like, I really connect with this. And I also like that one. And this one a lot as well. I like how all this, her body was like that. So, um, yeah, nothing new, nothing new. Don't like that one, for instance. We can do another little quirky bird here, but look, I have it. It seeped through, so it's a bit annoying that I've got some staining there. But I can work with that, obviously. I have to figure it out. Okay, this is new. So this, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you will have seen me post this. And I made this one evening when I was very um, stressed about the coronavirus thing. And it, it was a sort of, this is a kind of a contrasting, uh, contrasted portrait that really helped me process my emotions. I, and the only thing I worked with, with was three or so, three or four watercolor uh, colors, watercolor paint colors, and a bit of Posca pen. And I loved how it came out. So today I'm thinking of doing something similar on this other portrait that I've been sketching. She looks quite similar, actually. Something like this, but it'll be a different face, but something similar. So I might do that, not sure yet. I love that one, that's nice as well. Posted that one on Instagram. That might be new. This might be a new one that I haven't shown before. The only thing about this one is I want to, so it's, it's very patchy, which is was deliberate, but I'd like to smooth the patchiness out ever so slightly, which I might actually still do. So that was a new painting. That one was old, and this is also old. Oh, and then there. So I've got this nice little clean page here that I could work on as well. Um, so yeah, but my idea today is to do another portrait like that because the high contrast portraits can be kind of moody um, and capture, uh, like you know, darker or deeper pain, maybe more painful emotions. So let's see. That might we might do that, but before I start on that, um, let's have a look in my other journal. That's so I have two basically. I've set myself the challenge to finish two journals <laughs> um, that haven't been. I have many more that aren't finished yet, but I've started off with two. And as you can see, I've start. I've done this for three, four months now, and I've only really uh, managed to do f f like about four pages. <laughs> this is the nature of life at the moment. For me, okay. In this journal, this little swatches sex section was me experimenting with um, Arteza's new gouache paints that they sent to me kindly to try out, which I'll share with you here. So here are gouache. The uh, gouache is a paint that is sort of sits between um, acrylics and watercolor. I don't know. Oh, the lid has come off. I actually don't know these paints very well at all and I would love to play with them but I'm not sure if I'm, I, I, I'm gonna do it today I might do it in uh, my next video because um, today I want to do a moody portrait oh, a moody portrait in watercolor uh, high contrast um, but basically I was talking about these Arteza I was talking about these Arteza paints on my life book of life uh, yesterday, actually that was, and I tr I compared them to watercolors. So that's what I was doing here, swatching. And I do enjoy swatching, and I like swatching as just part of a page. So that's not a page that I need to work, like you know, like have to cover up because it's an enjoyable thing for me. But I might finish the swatching at some point because it's so colorful and fun. But that's new. Okay, other than that, I haven't done anything else new, I think, in this journal. Let me look. I like this one and this one. They have a sort of a connection together, I feel. 
I like this one. These colors are so beautiful. For me, light blue or teal next to a magenta is just blows my mind. Like gives me an art gasm. Another thing I thought I could do was do some more houses here. I haven't done houses in a while. I enjoy that so much. Plus, I would like to try out the Arteza um, paints on on a on a on a little design like this. So I might do that. And if I have time, I'll try and upload that sooner rather than later because my I try I am trying my best to get one YouTube video out a week. I'm not managing though. Sadly, it's my life. My life's crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, nothing new, nothing new there. This is also, I love these, this, this spread a lot. I love it, I love it, I love this. Clearly I, I did, when you see a sketch and it's not finished, it means I didn't love the sketch, so. This I did once on a Facebook Live. This could do with a bit of touch-up. I really like the face actually, but it just needs a bit more in the background, so I could just play and try and finish that at some point as well. We can do another bug here. I feel I should do another bug or maybe a nature theme or something. See this, uh, I've, told, I've talked about this before, how much I don't like that face, but I can work with it, I can do something. This was also probably a live and then I don't finish it, but I'm thinking of doing something, because I do like her little face, it just needs a lot more work. And then this of course I did on my first episode. Nothing new, so I don't think I've done anything new in this journal since last time. I like this a lot. And of course I love this as well. This is a this one of these I have a I filmed this at the process of making this page and it's on YouTube as well. Okay guys. So what I'm gonna do is I want to um work on this this sketch sketch of a face. Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Do 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 Mana, mana, mana. Oh, here we go. Here's the sketch of a face. It's a nice face. I'm going to give her hair that goes this way. Now, what I want to talk about right now is how to help yourself. Look, first of all, creating art is usually, most of the time, helpful to reduce stress. So you do not have to intentionally kind of go into feelings necessarily unless you want to. So making a portrait or painting, playing with colors, focusing on a line work or doodling or even just abstract abstract work, it doesn't have to be masterpieces. No matter what you do, if you're, if you're just playing with paints, this is supposedly, as I understand it, helps your nervous system to calm down, you can enter into the sort of more bright brain space of your brain, uh, your intuition is there, you can become more in the now. This all helps calm down your nervous system and your stress levels. So that's first of all. So you don't have to do more intentional work. What I like to do, however, is I often like to, um, before I begin on a art journaling page or when I do a lesson for a life book or wherever I am, is I like to be mindf mindfully going into the process by first of all just um, taking a moment of stillness and feeling, not physically feeling, but feeling into my body and checking in with myself to see what is happening there. And you don't have to just do that checking in with yourself in an art process only. In fact, I recommend checking in with yourself and feeling your feelings uh, maybe every hour, <laughs> if you can. You know, first time after you wake up, if you notice a heavy pit in your stomach, instead of ignoring it, you want to kind of say, you want to move towards it as scary or vulnerable or as uncomfortable as it might feel, when you go into feelings of sadness and discomfort, they will feel hurt, almost like little people or little beings, and they'll feel hurt. And the moment you go into it, it is more able to let go of you. It will leave you more easily than if you reject it and ignore it and deny it. And it's for me been a very long, and it's still a process that I'm going through now, but a long learning process of trusting that if I if I have an uncomfortable, horrible feeling, that when I move towards it, it isn't as devastating, as scary as um, it is. It actually feels like a relief when I can touch on the feeling and like be with it. And then it leaves me more easily and quickly as well. So, um, I haven't explained that. So before I do an art journaling person, and often this happens for me naturally anyway, is as I'm painting and I might be listening to music at the same time, I become much more in inwardly still and I notice my sadness or I notice my feelings or I notice my anxiety and I can kind of 
touch on it if you or it's like if if my feeling this if this was my feeling and it's sitting in my body over here you know oh, this is my body hold on this is my body this is my body okay this is my body <laughs> this is a part. i've been doing a weaving exercise uh, this is my body and there's a feeling and normally and it's my head <laughs> and my feeling is hello i'm nervous or i'm anxious and um often the times so we do this to it yeah <laughs> we do this Go away! Go away! Why? What? I don't like this, right? This is what we do. Or we do this. Um, we do this to it. Doink, 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 doink. <laughs> or we do this to it. Push. We push it deeper down, right? We hide it and we, or we knock it. We try to knock it away, but it won't go away. Oh my god! Look! It's sticky tape and it. It helped me with the symbolism. It wouldn't let go. You see? <laughs> it won't let go. You can push it away, but it won't let go. It's stuck to you now. Okay, see? It's still stuck. That's amazing. I hadn't planned that, people. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Okay, so instead, your feeling is there. And what we do is we notice it. And all we do... Oh, gosh, I made a mess. So here's our head or something. I don't know. And, and what we do, not just our head, <laughs> what we do, instead of the whole covering up and go away and banging it, we just turn around and we move towards it and we touch it. And we say, I hear you. And you can breathe into it, you can breathe. And you breathe into the feeling. And you just touch it. And you say, hi. And you say, I understand. And you say, I love you. And what you'll notice is, I'm going to be very symbolic now, is what you'll notice is that the feeling, as you do that, becomes smaller. And you can touch it again. Say, I love you. I understand. This is hard. I get it. This is difficult. I understand. And eventually, and it won't take even that long, it can go. It says, thank you. <laughs> okay? And then there is a, a kind of a calming. But, but what you've done there, I didn't know I was going to symbolize it this way. What you've done there is you've basically validated your feelings. You've given it, you're giving yourself some love. And um, you might call it self-empathy or you might call it Resonance, Sarah Payton, who is awesome, uh, is, a, is a trauma, um, uh, works with people with trauma, she also, she calls it a warm, warm self-resonance. And it really helps calm, calm you down. So this is a process you could do um, before you begin a, an art process, and you can do it while you create, and then what you can do as well, and it's all optional, because your art journal in particular is a place of you do whatever you want to do, okay? Or any, any art, any art piece, you do whatever you want to do. But um, what I love about journals is that the, it's a space, or sort of a safe space, where you can express yourself in however way you want, and you can... You create like scribbles and you can express, you know, you can use colors to express feelings or you can write or you can, you know, cut up pieces of paper and collage it all together. However way you want to work. Now, I like working with faces a lot, as you've noticed, maybe, <laughs> because they are probably a representation of myself. Um, and also of, they are, but they also often are people to me that listen to me and can actually like, as I make them, it's like they are, are, are empathic and compassionate witnesses to whatever I am experiencing and going through, if that makes sense. And then what I like doing, as you know, let, let's group it on this one, I like adding doodles and words. So here I wrote, this is the great unfolding. Um, this is kind of like, for me, as I was working through my emotions around this whole pandemic, I felt it felt like such a big unfolding and so these were the words that stuck out for me as I was thinking it through. So what often happens for me is words come out that will either be affirming for me. So let me just explain this, because for some people, they want to write about their deep, deep feelings of sadness and, and, and grief and discomfort. And that is fantastic and awesome. And some people want to write 
um, affirmations or, or, or almost like helpful words in response to their deeper, darker feelings. And that's also awesome. It's again, it is absolutely what you need to do in these processes is what works for you? What do you truly, deeply in your soul feel you need right now? And, and use your art journal space for exactly that. Do not have to do it like Tam. You don't have to do it like Jane Danforth. You don't have to do it like Dina Wakely, whoever you follow, whoever you know. It's like, do it like you need it. And of course, if you love it, how I do it or how whoever does it, then you can do it for a similar thing. But remember that your art process is, is really to serve you and to give you joy. You know, so follow your own, I call it the bliss stick. <laughs> follow the thing that makes you light up and make and soothes your soul. Um, oh, well, you know, and um, and that for me, that is the, the kind of the way to go with this sort of work. Uh, and then you can add anything to it, <laughs> anything you want, you know, stars, hearts, doodles, colors. You, that's the other beautiful thing about journals and any kind of artwork that you want to make is you can, you have creative freedom. You can use strange colors that make no sense. You can do whatever you want as long as it serves you and doesn't harm obviously anyone else. <clears throat> okay. So for today, I will be doing that similar portrait to this. And I'm gonna, I'll show you also, like it's a very simple process this. Um, why it's striking, I'll tell you what's so striking about, why it's striking grabs your attention is because of high contrast. Do you see how there's like, basically I didn't even touch this best part of the pa paper. So I left this acutely white or whatever the, pa the, the paper color is, maybe slightly off white white and then I used black and dark very dark colors on this side of the face and and sort of also here but slightly lighter so I'm making this the darker darkest part of the page and then this is also dark but not as dark and then she has her highlights sort of here okay that's why this is kind of whoa it pops it it, it jumps out of you at, at you and I only use three colors in this painting oh I also did another one actually if you uh, but I didn't do it in a journal I did it on a big page I'll show you this one so if you guys follow me on Instagram which I would love if you haven't yet this is a similar one where I also did the kind of extreme contrast again so there's high bright whites and then dark surrounding the face this is a darker part but just slightly the the, the patterning is slightly different, but similar to the other one. So that's another example. It's very cool. And I only used three colors or and a little bit of pencil there in that one. So use three colors uh, and you can use any kind of colors. So be, I am going to work with only watercolor today. You don't have to use this set. You can have use any watercolor set. Uh, it could be a teaser. You could be on your, you could have the tubes, 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 tubes. And I think for this one I used three colors which were oh yeah my or four maybe the beautiful lavender that I love look I've used it up so much already there's a lavender color in there if you want to know um, which pants specifically I buy off this is the Schminke set so let me tell you uh, my favorite Schminke color at the moment is this lavender blue this lavender -y blue it's number 495 Gonna order a couple more of those. I mean, you know, this is just my favorite. I've used it the most. I also really like this magenta, which is the 352. It's also used a lot, as you can see. Again, me. <laughs> those magenta and blue. <laughs> it's always, always me. Uh, this is actually beautiful orange, the 213, I think it is. Yeah, that's also a stunning color, and that combination is very pretty. But anyway, in this um, painting, I think I used that. Beautiful blah 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 uh, Maybe the 479 or the 494. Not sure. 479, I think. And then the magenta, which is 352. Black, which I have here, which is the 780. And then a kind of color, a couple of other blue colors. I don't know if that's that one, 494. This looks. I think I played around with the blues here a bit. Maybe three or four blues. The blues makes me think of the music. The blues, uh, oh, and, a, and an indigo. So that indigo blue, that four eight five, I used as well. Four eight five. Anyway, doesn't matter though because I you might you want to uh, you you can use any kind of colors. So for a face like this, um, you don't have to stick with realistic colors. You see, but we might do something similar. Um, in this one, I used purples and reds. So there's a purple there, and there's reds and a black. 
think that was it. And that lavender again. So maybe three or four colors, or that's that's all you need. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to get started. Um, yes. Yeah, so you can use a reference photo for a face like this, or make up your own face. You know, it doesn't matter. And follow if you want. Follow the 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 process that I am doing, or or completely do what you want. And oh yeah, the other thing I was going to say. So if you are wanting to work through emotions, you could use this side of the page for writing, scribbling, expressing yourself, or you can uh, write. Use if if writing works for you, you can use another piece of paper. I like writing poetry sometimes when I'm feeling really down and anxious. I like to poetically describe my emotions. It somehow gives honors the emotions in a really beautiful way. So if I have a dark, deep pit in my stomach or something, I might say, and I'm not a brilliant poet at all, by the way. <laughs> I just, you know, it's just for myself, my own. Uh, I please myself in that way. But I wait, I don't know, describe it as, you know, the the darkness in the night sky and you know like uh, the caves that I'm s stuck in I need to find the key I don't know whatever it's very cheesy uh, uh, poetry but it's I don't know it helps me rather than me saying it, it, I can also do this I feel down or I feel dark or this is a heavy bit of my stomach which is also great but I quite love using poetry to describe my emotions I don't know it's, it feels like an honoring and there's a beauty to it as well even though it might be just uncomfortable and sad so there's a beauty to describing them in a more poetic way uh, up to you so you can do that I don't know I have I have a tendency to use my I, I, I add the writing later on in my journals and they are usually an affirmative or words that help me with whatever I have felt and I am feeling right now so usually my are either descriptive of almost like the final conclusion of what I'm feeling or they are supportive, uh, like or sol like a solution. So I might end up saying surrender to what is or something like that or um, stay grounded in the now. You know, like so like, like it's like a little piece of advice that I need to hear right now or an affirmation of some sort of one word. That's me. You can do it differently. Okay, I think I've explained enough. Right, so let's get painting. Um, this will be time lapse. I may or may not do um, a voiceover. It depends a little bit on my time. So I'm trying to be around as much as I can, everyone, but my kids are also around and we there's a lot more issues now pulling my attention into all sorts of directions. But I really want to be around to connect with you all. I love you all. You're so wonderful. Thank you for being here on my YouTube channel and wherever else I connect with you. I love you so much. And if you are new to me and you want to connect more, I love hanging out on Instagram. It's my favorite place on earth, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, <laughs> but it's definitely my favorite place uh, on the internet. And uh, I'd love you to follow me there. I'm at Willowing. I like um, hanging out in the stories as well. And I'm also on Facebook and on, of course, here, YouTube and Pinterest as well. So I'd love to hang out with you in all these places. Do check out the description below for all my links and I will see you around. All right. Hope you enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.